Meta, like the sun, M-E-T-T-A. And um, this is a practice that is inspired from a number of different sources. One, one is that one of my close teachers and friends, Kenneth Folk, who I mention a lot in the context of social meditation because he, he originated the term and originated the first practices, some of the first practices that I did. So I'm um, always grateful for his contribution to my process around this. And on Twitter, uh, one of his favorite mediums, this is mine, he will often tweet meta like the sun. This has been a recent development. And it really reminded me of how in the early Buddhist Theravada tradition, metta practice, loving kindness practice is taught in, in two different ways. One, which is more popular, is the using phrases to help anchor the well-wishing. So using words and phrases, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you live with an open heart, things like that which we've, we've, we've done that together. And I think that's a beautiful way of practicing. And it really lends itself nicely to social meditation because it's got that verbal out loud component. The other way that was um, taught in that tradition and that you see in the Metta Sutta, the original teachings of the Buddha on Metta is, is uh, instead of using phrases, you can also radiate Metta. So in using, instead of using words to kind of um, anchor the well wishes, you can kind of imagine that you're radiating this loving kindness in all directions, forward, backward, left, right, up, down, north, south, east, west. You know, you can, you can break the directions down in different ways, but the idea is you want to radiate um, this well wishing, this goodwill in all directions. And for some people, actually that radiating quality really connects um, more with them than it does using phrases. So I've long been thinking how to um, bring that kind of radiating quality into a social meditation practice where words are kind of part of the game. And so when I saw Kenneth's tweets, Meta like the sun, I thought, oh, this is a cool way to do it. Um, because the sun is this thing that we all have a you know, clear connection with that does radiate. You know, it radiates all the light and warmth that we experience and all the energy you know, ultimately coming from the sun. And so it's something that we can all relate to and humans have been relating to for, you know, since the beginning, since the dawn of, of time. So um, just what a powerful um, mechanism to use to connect this quality of radiating. Um, and, and what I'd like to do here and suggest is that we, we work with this in a kind of freestyle way, meaning that whatever it is that you would like when it's your turn in this practice to, to radiate some positive beneficial quality that you want to develop um, and that you're interested in cultivating, that you could just use a word or two to describe that and then add like the sun. So it could be metta like the sun or joy like the sun. Freedom, like the sun. Love, like the sun. And as you do this, you might, you know, spend a little time connecting to that, that kind of metaphor and that quality of radiating, you know, where, where it's actually we're the ones that are radiating it like the sun. You know, it's actually we're the origin point of that radiation. Um, and we're sending out this quality, uh, wishing it out in all directions at the speed of love, you know, which is probably faster than light, I imagine. Um, and that's the basic practice. That's in essence what this, this practice is about. And I thought we could do this in, um, in a sequential order, taking turns, and I think it's helpful here to emphasize having a little bit of space in between each share, between each phrase, so that you can kind of allow the radiation to radiate, to feel the radiation. And 
I'm hoping that the freestyle form gives us some creative freedom to just explore what's true for us and what, what it is that we, we are wishing for. And also, as with all the social meta style practices, I think there's, there's two ways that, at least two ways that we can relate to the, to the phrase. One is as an aspiration or as a wish. And then the other is as a, an actualization, a realization of something which is always already radiating freedom, love, joy. And either way is fine. You know, you can find yourself to be the timeless loving awareness that's radiating all space and time. Or you might just be like, hey, it'd be really nice if there's a little freedom, more freedom in the world, freedom, radi- freedom like the sun. And it's okay if you're not feeling that um, totally fine in this practice because we're just inclining toward that in that direction.